Good morning, family. This is Ricky, and welcome to Hope for Two Days, the 19th of October, 2023. How's your week been going? You okay? You doing good? We are always praying for you. We're always believing God for you. And we're always trusting that God will deliver hope for today for you. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 10 uh, says, I'm sorry, verse 15 says, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. If you're new to the faith and new to Christianity, this is one of those famous verses. Paul is saying to Timothy, you need to be a worker of the word, that the way to be accountable in your discipleship and in your mentorship is to center your mentorship, to center your discipleship on the word of God. In other words, discipleship is the mother of community, not the other way around. Discipleship is the mother of evangelism, not the other way around. That at the end of the day, as we navigate life and ministry and small groups and men's ministry and women's ministry and whatever it is God's called you to do, parenting, grandparenting, to center those efforts on the word of God. And Paul says to Timothy that you need to rightly handle the word. That phrase rightly handle is the Greek word orthomeo. Orthomeo is the word from which you derive our English words like orthopedic and orthodoxy and orthodontist. I hope you see where I'm going. The word orthomeo means to cut straight. So just like an orthodontist is supposed to make your teeth straight, you and I, when we present God's word, should cut the word straightly. It's the idea of not going outside the lines. It's the idea of not taking anything away from God's word and not adding anything to it. This book has been used to justify genocide and slavery and every other grievous sin under heaven. And the idea is that too many people use this book to say what they want to say instead of making it say what Jesus said. And I want to encourage you today to be a person of the word of God. I want you to look at the Bible and understand that God's will is God's will. God's way is God's way. And we need the word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. We're going to be talking about this for the next few days. But at the end of the day, I have one encouragement as you think about the word, as you read God's word, as you encounter his word. And here's that first one. You're only going to have a great relationship with God if you have a good relationship with your Bible. God's love letter is the Bible. God's revelation of himself is the Bible. And to be sure, to be sure, God speaks through a multitude of ways. But his word says the ultimate way through which he speaks to us is his word. I talk to too many Christians who say, I'm looking for a sign or I'm waiting for God to say something when, hey, 99.9% <laughs> of the time, he has given you a sign. He has said something and it's in this book. And I want to encourage you that we need to be people of the word of God, that we're not going to have a great relationship with God to have a good relationship with the Bible. And a lot of people wonder, where is God? And what is God saying? Well, here's the issue. It's hard for God to pull something out if you hadn't allowed it to come in. <laughs> it's hard to get out something you haven't first put in. So get in this book and let God's word bless you and rightly handle the word of truth. That's hope for today. I'll see you next time.